breakfast? Come and get it with Peter G'day. Russell G'day. Clark. That's right, we're joined once again by our favourite bearded ex-celebrity chef, Peter Russell Clark. How are you, sir? I'm particularly well, especially in this period. Mm. If you'll pardon the expression, it's coming on to the birth of Christ. And is it a particular period that uh, resonates with you, at least in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, it's sort of, I think it's an exciting time because uh, Jesus, you know, Christ coming from the Greek word uh, Messiah. So uh, Jesus, Messiah, you know, the birth of him. I often wonder why we eat plum pudding, for instance. Why don't we have a bowl of pharynx with uh, some uh, myra or uh, frankincense sprinkled over it? Why... Well, chew on a rusk. That does mm. sound tempting yes. for well, Christmas well, Day, a bit of rusk chewing. To, to the birth of a child, isn't it? Um, do you, are you mm. a big feaster on Christmas? Yes, but I eat fish because, see, uh, plum pudding came into being about the, the time of uh, Queen Anne. Mm. Um, she was Scottish and they ate a lot of porridge and to celebrate Christmas they sprinkled some dried fruit in it just to thicken it up a bit. Uh, uh, a bit of whiskey because they put whiskey in their porridge and some some honey, and that thickened it up, thickened the porridge up, which eventually became plum pudding. And then they threw trinkets in. You know, I think there's a, a ring and a, a few other things which, if you get even a button, which I suppose is a fly button mm. popped off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for bringing it back down, Mr. Yeah. Well, the Scottish, you know, the reason they wear sporran is because. Uh, that whiskey and honey is known as an aphrodisiac, and that the sporran weighs down any rising expectations <laughs> they may have of having a good time. Brilliant! So but it should be it should be fish because Jesus was not only a fisherman of our souls, but he did go out in the Bay of Galilee quite often with Peter, uh, and they caught a fish called uh, the John Dory. And you'll notice if you buy a John Dory that there's the thumbprint. There's some debate of whether it's Jesus' thumbprint mm. or the thumbprint of Peter, but it's still on the side of the fish. Just yesterday we were talking about um, uh, Virgin Mary appearing in the skies at Medjugorje and turning rosary beads gold, so it's good to see we're still continuing in this religious bent with the thumbprint of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's or right, that's on John Dory. Of course, there's Silver Dory and Mirror Dory. Whose thumbprints are on those ones? Nobody's thumbprints on those. Oh. It's the John Dory they pulled up and it made such an awful noise. It's called the dogfish. Jesus felt sorry for it and ordered Peter to throw it back into the water and that thumbprint's still there. I thought you were going to say he ordered a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm named after that Peter fella. Are you oh, really? Yeah. Uh, Peter Russell Clark, listen, thank you so much for all no, your... No, hang on, we've got to tell you with John Dory, yeah. just shove some... Just put in a pan with garlic, some soy sauce, some ginger, some honey and some garlic... Uh, cook it up and serve it with a salad and I'll see you next year. Oh, we love you so much. We'll see you in 2009, Peter Russell Clark. Have a great you know Christmas. What? what? This, if they have the second coming, is that like a multiple <laughs> orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, good night, Peter Russell Clark. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, see sir. Later. See you later. We love Bye. you. Marie and the Doctor on Triple J.